Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are again. And today, we're going to talk about knives. I've carried a Mora Companion for about a year now. It was given to me by Jessica's brother. It was given to him by somebody at work. And I feel like I should move on to another blade in order to learn how they are, how they act, what they do, all that good stuff. So, we're gonna take a look at the Mora. And we're gonna take a look at what I've chose. And you already know by the thumbnail what that is. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so if any of you have been watching since the very beginning of this channel, you would know that I am kind of new to bushcraft and anything outdoors related on a greater than general hobby level general hobby level bushcraft would be like simple camping I want to get into more than that so I feel like learning knives is very important this Mora companion was given to me like I said by Jessica's brother and I keep it kept keep it fairly sharp and again, this is not going to be a review video. This is going to be getting other people's opinions on what they use, what they've tried. And I'm making a big jump from a 440 carbon to a stainless. So I have another more companion. Actually, Jessica has one. It's pink and it's stainless. And we have had a tip issue. We don't know how it happened having three kids and all three of them being boys and all boys like to play with knives don't really know what happened but i am moving on to this camelus western cross trail got a smoky mountain or is it knife works yeah smoky mountain knife works and all the other ones that i have found have a hook right here and there'll be a link in the description below for the same one with a hook but i cannot find one like this this is a $20 purchase. It's got a really good sheath. I feel like it's going to hold up. One thing that I have been concerned about with this Mora is inside there. There's not a lot that I can do. This one has no holes in the bottom of it or anything, but I know it's not going to fill up with water. And I know this is not waterproof. Even if it wasn't, I could probably waterproof it if I wanted to. And this knife has got a, feels like a much more comfortable handle here. This right here, being as as bulgy as it is, makes it hard for me to get a really good grip right here. So I don't do a lot of small knife cutting with it, or small cuts with it. But this right here, as this, helps me get a hold of that now. I don't think that this is, is recommended as a stainless knife for ferrule rods and stuff because it has to be that hard carbon, but all of this comes with learning if anybody wants to give me your thoughts on what you think about it if you've had this knife like i said i picked it up at smoky mountain knife works about 20 bucks belt only so i'm moving to a universal type clip to a belt only and i'm moving from a 440 carbon to a stainless so down the road if something happens i'll make a video and inform you about it you guys let me know what you think tell me anything that i can do to help improve the life and the quality of this blade and tell me tests that i can put this thing through in order to make sure that it's not going to break in the circumstances where i need it the most hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and i really appreciate you guys showing up if you want to help support me you can like subscribe check out any of my social links Check out my Patreon. Sit Survival Guy.